my name is Karen Wild. I was diagnosed with multiple myeloma in uh, May 2012. I was actually working as a physio in private practice and I'd had a couple of <laughs> bad luck accidents really. Got knocked over by a horse float, which led to a, a, a serious foot injury and a total hip replacement. I didn't come out of it too well. I thought I should be able to jump out of bed after this and I didn't. It wasn't my regular GP. She said, it looks like you haven't had your regular um, blood tests, you know, just it was a checkup. She said, it looks like you've got myeloma. And I thought, oh my God, I think it was melanoma like a lot of people do. And of course it all went from there. The family had to come in and yeah, so it was a bit of a shock really. And I think summed up by the fact that the haematologist said to me later, he said, well, if you can get myeloma, he, shows, he said, it shows the in, indiscriminate nature of the disease. Number one, thank God it was me and not my husband or my four children, one of my four children. John Hounsell, the haematologist said, keep your rhythm of life and then I started to get some infections at the back of my knee and I said, is it time to stop? And he said, yes. And then I just decided it was my old life. I had to leave behind and this was my new life. I've got a lot of sinus issues that I never had before um, getting myeloma. You get um, low ferritin. So that's your stored iron. Osteoporosis is a second um, side effect of uh, myeloma and you need to have um, uh, uh, bisphosphonates every three months by infusion. You've got appointments upon appointments upon appointments. I'm quite red and flushed in the face um, because I had the Dexa yesterday. And you get, you know, increased hair on your face, which women can deal with. Um, you get skin, you know, thin skin. Um, you get bruising. You have to be careful and very careful in the garden. Um, knocking yourself, be clumsy, all those things. But, you know, they're all things I'm managing, bloating in the tummy. But, you know, I have to keep the bowels going and I've worked all of that out. I'm just very grateful that I'm part of uh, the big picture. When I first was diagnosed, you know, your longevity was five years, you know. Now, here I am, 12 years. So, you know, I might get 20 years, but I might not die of myeloma thanks to trials, you know, but um, it, it's the unknown, I suppose. I think that there's, a, there's, there's some exciting things ahead, but it would be nice to think that you don't have to have a, a standard, the standard of care is, is raised a bar, if you like, by the fact that people will invest um, in you know, further clinical trials so people like myself can live a longer life. When you go back to, you know, 38 people a week being diagnosed, you know, and their lives are changed forever. 